God our heavenly father we raise our hearts and minds to you we have gathered here today to follow Jesus on the way of the cross may your holy spirit help us to use our savior's strength effectively in our place in life we ask the special help of our blessed mother mary in following christ and in making the way of the cross our way of life amen The first station Jesus is condemned to death We adore thee O Christ and we praise thee because by the holy cross thou hast redeemed the world As we pause at this station let us try and experience what you think must be going through Jesus's mind on hearing his sentence death by crucifixion what are the emotions you think he must be experiencing was he afraid was he frightened of the tortures and the agony that awaited him or was he calm at peace for he was doing his father's will did he say this in his mind when he was being condemned to death here stood jesus falsely accused by the people in power who were afraid that he was challenging their authority he was exposing their shallow needs how often we see the just persecuted because they stand up for what is good right and the truth may jesus inspire us and fill us with a sense of hope each time we are mocked at because we stand up for what is right remember the beatitude happy are those who are persecuted because they do what god requires the kingdom of heaven belongs to them have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the second station jesus carries his cross we adore thee o christ and we praise thee because by thy holy cross thou has redeemed the world after being beaten scourged and subjected to all sorts of inhuman tortures a cross was forced upon his shoulders how heavy the cross must be how much it must have hurt him but jesus meekly carried his cross he carried the sins of the whole world upon his shoulders the sins of all generations very often we feel overburdened by our problems and difficulties 
and we feel like giving up. Let us pause for a moment and think of our dear Lord Jesus. He carried the cross and walked the street of Jerusalem with the soldiers surrounding him, hitting him, cursing him and spitting on him. Our difficulties seem nothing in comparison to his. Let us remember that to be true disciples of Jesus, we must take up our cross and follow him. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. As our Lord walked with his cross, at some point of time, the weight of the cross must have been too much for him, and he fell down. How that fall must have hurt him. His already hurt body must have hurt even more. But he did not just lie down over there. He slowly picked up his cross and continued his journey. Many a times we fall into sin, but instead of rising and making amends for our wrong, we lie there, sometimes keep doing the same wrong and then think we can never be saved. We start feeling that we are far away from God. In times like this, let us think of the prodigal son in the parable narrated by Jesus. The son acknowledged to his father that he had sinned against him and his father warmly welcomed him. Let this encourage us and assure us that our heavenly father is always waiting for us with open arms. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Fourth Station Jesus Meets His Mother We adore Thee, O Christ, and we praise Thee, because by Thy Holy Cross Thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus is standing there face to face with his beloved mother. What sorrow our blessed mother must have felt on seeing her beloved son in this terrible state. The son whom she had cared for and nourished, but she knew that he had come to do his father's will and this was the plan of salvation for mankind. Perhaps she was reminded of the words of Prophet Simeon at the time of the presentation of the Lord in the temple. Sorrow like a sharp sword will break your own heart. Let us ask our Mother Mary to strengthen us in times of suffering, to stand by us and walk with us in life's journey. Let us remember that she will be there to console and comfort us just 
as she consoled and comforted her beloved son Jesus have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the fifth station jesus is helped by simon of cyrene we adore thee o christ and we praise thee because by the holy cross thou has redeemed the world by now even the soldiers must have realized that the cross was heavy on jesus's shoulders and he needed help to continue the journey so they get simon to help jesus carry the cross tradition and scripture tell us that simon was not keen to help jesus he must have thought that jesus must be really bad person and was therefore being put to death maybe he had heard rumors about jesus and had come to see what was happening and did not want to get involved how often we go along with rumors how often do we refuse to help people who need our help we hesitate to get involved in such times let us remember jesus's words it is not the healthy who need a doctor but the sick Let us try to reach out to people who really need our help. The poor, the needy, the old, the sick and help them carry their crosses. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore thee O Christ and we praise thee because by the holy cross thou hast redeemed the world As Jesus continued his journey slowly stumbling every now and then a woman from the crowd took pity on him and wiped the poor wounded face of Jesus She was rewarded for this act of kindness with a look of gratitude from our Lord and also an imprint of his holy face on the towel. How much the Lord must have been pleased with this act of love and compassion. Here was a woman who dared to come forward courageously and wipe his face. without being worried about the consequences let us like veronica never fall to reach out to our suffering brethren and wipe their faces wipe away their pain and despair let us remember our lord's words whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers that you do unto me Let us also never forget the holy face of our Lord when we console the suffering. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The seventh station. Jesus falls a second time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee because by the holy cross thou has redeemed the world while jesus walked he must have been dragging himself to the place he was to be crucified he fell down the second time the hot sun burned down on him and his wounds were sore with the weight of the cross it must have been too much to bear and he collapsed on to the ground this fall is so significant of his humanity just like he was true god he was true man in all aspects except that he was free from the original sin many times we make all types of resolutions 
to change, give up an old and bad ways, but find it difficult to keep our promises. We like to take the easy way out. We want to make a change starting tomorrow. In such times, let us remember this fall of Jesus and the love he had for us and ask him to help us make a change. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The eighth station, Jesus meets the woman on the way to Calvary. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by the Holy Cross thou hast redeemed the world. The women of Jerusalem mourned and wept on seeing our Lord carrying the cross and suffer so much. Jesus waited there with them and said, Weep not for me, but yourselves and your children. Ever so often when we see people in suffering and pain, we are touched and sympathize with them. But when we are faced with problems and difficulties, we sometimes get angry with God and refuse to see God's grace in it. Let us in such times remember that God also sends us the strength to bear those hard situations. Let us therefore carry our crosses cheerfully, remembering the words of Jesus. Happy are those whose greatest desire is to do what God requires, for God will satisfy them fully. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The Ninth Station Jesus falls a third time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. Jesus is now very tired and exhausted. He falls the third time. This fall is considered the most painful. He still gets up and walks on dragging his cross, surrounded by a bunch of people who knew not what they were doing. Jesus had so many opportunities when he could have given up. The suffering could have been put to an end if he would just call to his heavenly father for help. But Jesus knew that he had to go through his father's plan for salvation. With this in mind, he continued the journey. Let the bitter passion and cruel agony of our dear Lord strengthen us in moments of despair and encourage us to keep trusting in the Father, just like Jesus so that someday God may say the same words to us that he said when Jesus was being baptized in the river Jordan. This is my dear son with whom I am well pleased. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore Thee, O Christ, and we praise Thee, because by the Holy Cross Thou hast redeemed the world. On reaching Golgotha, Jesus was stripped of His garments and His clothes divided among the soldiers. Imagine Jesus standing there, naked, in front of the whole crowd. How would He have felt? Many a times, we are not happy with what clothes are given to us to wear. We are always craving for the best of the fashion and the most expensive of clothes. Let us in these times think of our Lord standing there in front of all, stripped of his clothes. Let this station inspire us to be satisfied with whatever our parents can give us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore Thee, O Christ, and we praise Thee, 
because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world as jesus was being nailed to the cross the nails bit into his hands and feet how much it must have hurt him each time the soldiers hammered the nails which ripped into his flesh and bones yet he did not utter a word he bore everything silently doing the will of his father let us in silence reflect on how his hands must have hurt for the 3 hours he hung there he had been treated without mercy but he opened the gates of heaven to the thief in his mercy when the blood poured from his wounds he implored god the father to pour his forgiveness and love on all even in pain on the cross he still gave us a gift the gift of his mother as our own let us remember what jesus said love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may become the sons of your father in heaven let us ask the father for grace to forgive those who hurt us just as jesus did have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the 12th station jesus dies on the cross we adore thee o christ and we praise thee because by the holy cross thou hast redeemed the world finally at 3 o'clock when the temple curtain tore into two jesus cried out father into your hands i commend my spirit and he died at last his agony was over He had drunk the cup of suffering to the last drop purchasing salvation for the whole mankind Each time we are tempted to sin let us remember the suffering of Jesus He suffered because of us He was scourged for our sins He was crowned with thorns and carried his cross so as to carry the weight of the world's sins and died to take away the sins of the world Jesus said greater love has no man than to lay down his love for his friends and that is what he did died for us that we may live have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us the 13th station Jesus is taken down from the cross we adore thee o christ and we praise thee because by the holy cross thou hast redeemed the world Jesus is now taken down from the cross and laid in the arms of a sorrowing mother what thoughts must have passed through mary's mind as she held her son in her arms it must have broken her heart to see her son whom she loved so much who was a healer a preacher the same boy she held in her arms as a child to care for who performed the miracle at Cana of turning water to wine on her request he was there lying there in her arms limp and lifeless a lady gave us her son she said yes to god's plan even when she did not understand it let us keep our company through a moment of silence Let us try and spend some time with her daily by reciting the rosary and asking her to pray that we too say yes to the will of God just like her. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The 14th station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore thee, O Christ, and we praise thee, 
because by the holy cross thou has redeemed the world a good man joseph of arimathea asked for the body of jesus to be taken down from the cross he then wrapped it and placed it into a tomb that had never been used jesus's body was laid in the tomb and the mouth of the tomb was closed Jesus who had suffered all sorts of torments was now dead. He urges us to die to our selfishness, hatred, anger, greed and all that act as a barrier between us and God. To bury our past and to start anew. Let us think of his words, unless a grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it bears much fruit let us ask our lord to help us lay all our bad qualities in the tomb and live new lives as the sons and daughters of the heavenly father have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us we will now pray for the intentions of the holy father Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen Glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen and may the peace and blessing of almighty god the father the son and the holy spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever amen